fine. Monsters Retreat by Backyard Boy. Best Use of Character Crick by Edgy Film Hitman Werewolf by Define Monsters Retreat by Backyard Boys
your old daddy. Try the kiss over the taco meat, man. It's delicious. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, that's a book on how to make Mexican martinis. <laughs> I've got the recipe right here. <laughs> Y'all try that. Share it. Daddy's home. Here's yo daddy. Hey kids, welcome to a special edition of Da Big Daddy G Show. Let me put this sparkling water. down right there um we at the big daddy g show we started the show about three years ago it's a um comedy show and we uh showcase entertainment we uh don't charge bands or anybody to come and perform we do it all for free and then we give them the video so that they can use as a music video if it's a band or comedian or whatever we just give it to them for free um why don't we charge uh because we believe in karma. So we do it for good karma. Uh, people have helped me, and so we come and we help people. Um, 
Eileen and Crazy Girl One, her daughter, and Kara have helped us um, with our show many, many times. And we believe so much in them that we decided to do a special two-hour live show for the Austin 48-hour film project. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I've actually been in or involved in uh, about three of the uh, projects in the past, and I don't know if any of them uh, won anything or not because I was asleep for the next seven days. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's tough, man, but it's a lot of fun. So um, I just wanted to say a couple of things about this show. Um, if you know anybody who's uh, really talented or you see a band that you think is really talented, please, um, I'm going to have business cards uh, on the way out. Uh, please send us a clip of what they do, and maybe we can have them on the show. We are booked, I think, past March now. Um, when we first started, we uh, <laughs> we couldn't get anybody on the show, man. Um, I mean, we were scraping the bottom of the bucket trying to get somebody. Uh, so far, we've had uh, Cole Allen, who is uh, starring in a TV show on Showtime called Kidding. And uh, awesome kid. We used him actually in a film, a short film. And, uh, and we've had him on the show two or three times. And now he's a big star on Showtime. And the, t the show he's doing it, he's doing it with Jim Carrey, dude. Wow. So, yeah. So uh, we've had Jackie Vinson, who was recently on the cover of uh, the Austin Chronicle. Uh, we've had uh, Chris Rogers, the guy who did the uh, mural that you just saw. I mean, these are people that are known nationwide. And uh, last but not least, the leader of the Austin Film Society, uh, Mr. Richard Linkletter, we've had on the show, uh, five-time Oscar-nominated director. So we're going little by little. Um, I'm going to go smoke an organic cigarette with Matthew McConaughey in the next few weeks, or next couple of days, actually. And uh, we're going to see if we can get him on the show uh, somehow, some way. Um, if you guys want to help with the show, uh, again, there is no pay. We uh, all, everybody that comes, all the crew that comes and works with us, they do it for free. Uh, they don't charge. We don't pay. So, and we tell people up ahead, you know, ahead of time with that we don't pay you. Um, but it's really, really good karma. And if you don't believe me, <laughs> I'm here. So, um, hosting this show for you guys. So, uh, I wanted to mention. Austin Public Access, who has uh, helped out with the uh, studio here that you're in, the air conditioning and the chairs, and so we want to th thank. <laughs> want to thank. <laughs> oh, I got to do better drugs. I want to thank uh, <laughs> David, uh, David, our our fearless leader, and uh, Charles and uh, Matt and and Yolanda and Rebecca and everybody that works behind the scenes that you guys. Oh, Doug Gray. Well, I'm sorry. I know Doug Gray. We have the same initials, DG, Daddy G. So Doug Gray, uh, super, super nice guy, um, and he will help you. If you have any problems, if you want to have your own show, you can do that. You can come here and become a producer, and don't be scared, man, because we did it. Uh, we used to, uh, when we first started, is we'd do the show off uh, the studio, and then we would edit it and then bring it in, and then they would air it. And then we went to the small studio, which is 300 square feet next door, which is a good place to start. And I remember when we, when we were going to come into this big studio, it was scary. I mean, it was scary because here we're coming from a three, 300 uh, feet to 1,200 square feet. So, um, and let me tell you, man, if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, you just got to get off your arse and get it done, you know. So... Thank you very much to Austin Public Access, Doug Gray, and all the awesome people that work here uh, for helping do this for the 48-hour film project. And uh, pretty soon, I'm going to mention uh, Miss Kara. And oh, and Brian, of course, for technical support, because without Brian, I mean, he's the bloodline of this place. So um, Brian is awesome, man. Um, the other thing I wanted to say was that um, Kara... Kara, which I've been practicing all week because I used to call her Kira, but it's her name is Kara, uh, and Ali, 
uh, are here. They're at the very back, and I'd like to introduce them to y'all. Uh, they're the head of the 48-Hour Film Project. So let's hear it. And look how sexy they look. Oh, my God. <laughs> here, babe. You good? All right. So I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Let me get this sparkling water. <laughs> it's sparkling water, Doug. Okay. Here you go. Ollie. Here you go, Ollie. Ollie. Ah. You can have that one. Howdy. Howdy. Is this thing on? <laughs> um, as you all know, but our uh, live audience may not, I'm Aline Harding. And I'm Kara Marty. And we are the producers of the 48-Hour Film Project in Austin, Texas. <laughs> so uh, first of all, we'd like to thank our sponsors. Our global sponsors, our Movie Magic screenwriter, mm -hmm. and then our national sponsors for the United States are um, OC Music Company. And Previs Pro, who provided yes. a lovely big screen TV. There's lovely big screen TV. It's, it's in, the, in green the green room. Okay, lovely you big screen TV is in the green room. <laughs> for um, our best of film winner. Yes, whoever that may be. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I <laughs> none of y'all know, okay? I swear to God, it is a secret. Um, and locals, oh, duh, Austin Public, <laughs> right here, this beautiful studio is our sponsor. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our sponsors. Thank you to our volunteers um, and to Sylvia Harding who has provided us with the Afghan and some wonderful uh, wild Mustang grape jam. This jam is just grapes, a little bit of orange and sugar, that's it. So and this is for y'all because you are our jam. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so we start with the awards. Shall we tell people what the 48 is? We might want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> because while our lovely audience of filmmakers know because you participated, this is going live stream. That's right. The 48-hour <laughs> film project is a mad mar madcap marathon of filmmaking in one weekend where teams come together. They get to draw a genre out of a hat or a skull, you know, as the case may be. <laughs> And <laughs> get to get three elements, and they get to make a short film from scratch in two days. So, uh, yeah, it's basically a, uh, it, in, in short, it is a filmmaking marathon. And um, the all of the submitted films are screened for the public. The, uh, the films that are eligible are judged. And these are the awards. The best film will go on to film a Palooza, which is our annual global screening and awards show. In 2020, that will be in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. So we're really excited about that. So who here, if you win, who here is going to Rotterdam? <laughs> show of hands, you can go show of hands. Don't win. Come on, come on, come on. Good, yeah, and if you don't win, you can still go with us. So that's a hint. That's a really strong hint, guys. Uh, so for those who have never pr seen the 48 before, I believe we have a l little clip to show them what can go on. Is that right? I hope so. I think so. <laughs> 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 All right, let's roll that beautiful footage. <laughs> It's there, I promise. How, how, how many of you are optimistically doing this for the first time? <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what you're in for. Kira, Marty, and I need a party.
So you go to that door, that door, and then back to the middle. Thank you to everybody who contributed to that. And Absolutely. thanks, Sabby, for filming and editing that primary video. That was Ooh, great. Sabby Landaro. So on to what we're all here for, th our award ceremony. And we're going to start with the elements. And the elements are important because they're part of the challenge. Absolutely. You have to include the three elements in your film. Those elements are a character, in this case. Jerry Jones, a painter. A prop. A yoga ball and a line of dialogue. Let me give you a tip, or let me give you a tip, because you know, Texas. we're from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, of course, everyone pulls a, a different genre, and uh, so we give out an award for best use of genre as well. So we're going to start with, if I can pull up my schedule, <laughs> our best use of character nominees. Best, best use of character, Crick by Edgen Films, Hitman Werewolf by Define, Monsters Retreat by Backyard Boys. <laughs> <laughs> and the award goes to... <laughs> Monsters Retreat, <laughs> Backyard Boys. <laughs> You're going to show all of us up, aren't you? Oh, thank there you. you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And now we, was that proper character? That was character. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Live TV, everyone. Um, next is the best use of prop, which was, again, a yoga ball. And the nominees are... Maybe I talk too fast? <laughs> Best use of prop. Crick by Edgen Films. Hitman Werewolf by Define. The Broken by Three Generations Captiva Entertainment Group. And the award goes to... And the award goes to... Hitman Werewolf by Team Define. Congratulations. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, did you get the, the little thingy? Yes. Oh, okay. I yeah. mixed them up. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you, Define and Hitman Werewolf. And now we have our best use of dialogue, which again was, let me give you a tip. Or let me give you a tip. Yeah. Best use of dialogue. Equanimity by Red Twit Entertainment. Hitman Werewolf by Define. The Broken by Three Generations. Captiva Entertainment Group. And the award goes to... The Broken by Team, Team Three, Three Generations, Generations Captiva <laughs> Entertainment Group. Get the trophy. Get the trophy. Huh? Get the trophy. Party. Party. There we go. There you go, madam. There you go. And now we have best use of genre, which is very special for this project because it was focused on sci-fi and horror genres. Yes. And y'all are some messed up people because most of y'all went with horror. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, and, and actually, it seemed like most of the sci-fi focused ones came in late. So sci-fi is my favorite genre. I, I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit that. So, But anyway, the nominees for best use of genre are... Best Use of Genre, Crick by Edgen Films, Equanimity by Red Twit Entertainment, The Ritual of Boss by Team El Guapo. And the award goes to...
Equanimity by Red Twin Entertainment. Thank you. I think it's time for a little break. Yes, and to give the people at home or, you know, in a cafe or their bunker in the woods <laughs> a little idea of what people do, we do have some clips from our top ten films, and here's one of them now. Thank you, I'm Luke, the Hitman Werewolf. Well, people give me money, they whisper in my ear who they want to not be alive anymore, and then I go to their home and I handcuff myself to them on the night that there's going to be a full moon. Sun goes down, moon comes up, and the rest pretty much just takes care of itself. Ooh, maybe you should call the cops. <gasps> Yoink. <sighs> Isn't that better? Now it's just us. Maybe that's enough vitamin D. So, so you're just going to kill me? Well, not me, per se. The other thing, the wolf guy. <laughs> Unnecessary, but I understand. <laughs> Look, it's nothing personal. I'm me, and then the full moon comes up, and then I'm, I'm not me. You seem like a perfectly nice- Do you even know what I've done? I don't care. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey, kids. Welcome to the Big Daddy G Show. We're on on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. on Channel 16. Or you can stream it on TheBigDaddyG.com. Adios. 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 <laughs> it's what we do. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> 90% still in A. <sighs> I know. What do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. One more clip. their intentions yes has the coven confirmed their commitment to their heresy yes and they show no signs of backing down hmm. what does Damien think about this he is with them We have exhausted all options. The vampires are still coming. They want to make sure that this ritual is not completed. And they will do everything in their power to stop it. We want this war to end. This is the only way. We have information to present to you. The witches and one of our own have started the ritual of Foss. This ritual will bring about our ruin. We cannot let this happen. Do we have your permission to move forward? And yes, I did have to bleep out a few things. <laughs> And now we're moving on to the actors and actresses without which we could not make films. And the nominees for Best Actress are... Best Actress, Mandy Steen as Jerry Jones in Cat. 
casting call by Bonnie O'Hills. Peggy Shot as Mom in Crick by Edgley Phillips. Marla Mackley Alden as Mother in The Broken by Three Generations, Captiva Entertainment Group. And the winner is... <laughs> apparently not going to be revealed. <laughs> Once more, with feeling... Yeah, that one didn't show up today. <laughs> <laughs> the award goes to Marla Mackley Alden. From the Broken by Three Generations Captiva Entertainment Group. Here's the trophy. Is it smoking me? I, I hope so. We triple checked, is it? Did we get it? There is it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the nominees for Best Actor are... Best Actor, Jonathan Strong Mosley as Chris Wolf <laughs> in <laughs> Casting Call <laughs> by Barrio Fittings. Jordan O'Neill as Jared like in Crick by Edgen Films. Lucas John Potter as Luke the Hitman Werewolf in Hitman Werewolf by Define. And the winner is, well, the award goes to, let's be. True, they are all winners because they actually show up and do the work. That's right. <laughs> Lucas John Potter. And Hitman Werewolf. He could make it really close to a full moon. He's uh, taking contracts right now. I understand. <laughs> So we all help each other out. It's a community. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and no actor, well, I can't say no actor could do it alone because I've seen it done before. Yeah. But for the most part, no actor does it alone. Yeah. For best, <laughs> it's not. Best acting ensemble nominees are Best acting ensemble, casting call by Barrio Films. Devil's Hollow by CM9 Films. The Broken by Three Generations, Captiva Entertainment Group. And the winner for Best Acting Ensemble is... The award goes to... Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Casting Call! Now when actors do their thing, there's usually a lot of physical activity, and we all like to be safe on set, so the best, we have a best stunts and choreography award. That's right, because that's important. Yeah. I had something, <laughs> <laughs> something, something, something profound. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and the, nomin <laughs> the nominees are. <laughs> best stunts and choreography, Doubles Hollow by CM9 Films. Equanimity by Red Twit Entertainment. Hunted by MK Marco Productions. And the award goes to... <laughs> Devil's Hollow by CM9 Films. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, don't ham it up at all, ever, with us. No, no, never. <laughs> Remember that time Sam did the handstand? When does he not? <laughs> right. And then there are the people who make our actors and actresses and ensembles look, look good. So the How award. Are we say that together? What? Never mind. 
Live TV. Right. Anyway, <laughs> the nominees for best costumes, hair, and makeup are. Best costumes, hair, and makeup. Crick by Etchin Films. Equanimity by Red Twit Entertainment. Hunted by MK Marco Productions. And the award goes to. Hunted by MK Marco Productions. Congratulations. I think this is your first time, right? This is my first time. Woo! Well done. <laughs> we hope to see many more from all of you. <laughs> I think we're at a break. Are we at a break? Yes, we are at a break because we need to show off another clip of one of our fabulous films. So next we, we should be seeing, yes, we do have another clip. <laughs> we were entrusted with the secret items, the secret line, and the secret character. What do you want first? Uh, well, let's see, we should start with a prop, yes? Yes. yes. A prop, right, let's see. I, uh, no, 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 let me use magic instead. All right. Ladies and bath boys and pick busters all up. There's a scroll here. Let me see what it says. Oh, a yoga ball. A yoga ball. Yoga ball. We'll need. So that means. Is that like a limber man in spandex? No, 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 no. That's a uh, rare that's male of, camel toe. No, no, no. That's a. Uh, <laughs> that's one of the yoga balls. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Yoga ball. Yoga. Everyone say it. Yoga, yoga ball. ball. All right. Very We're good. done. We're done what we can. All right. Oh, oh the line. Well, yeah. all, there was a there was incantation here. It said. Oh, let me give you a tip. That's it. Oh, did you did you feel that? Yes. Look here. Oh, I like this. I like this. I want to say it again. Let me give you a tip. Oh, okay. here we go. Ready? Say it again. There it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, look there. You try it. Right, everyone together, all at once. What? Let me give you a tip. Oh, look at that. That was oh, very well. Yeah. 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 So that's the line. It's let me give you a tip. Or let me give you a tip, either way you like. It's all in Texas, you know, strange dialect. <laughs> the character and the profession. Ooh. Yes. So let's see what's in the trunk now. There's all these brushes. Ooh. Who uses brushes? Painters. A painter. That's painter. right. It's a painter. Ah, the name is Jerry. A German painter. No, it doesn't have to be German. <laughs> no. so, and it could also be Jerry uh, with, a, with an I uh, or, or a Y. It could be a, a female. Uh, male, it could go either direction, you know. But Jerry is the painter. Is our last name? Jones. Jones. Jerry Jones. Yes. Jerry oh, Jones. Is that what that means? Oh, a sorry. It's really upside down. Jones. Happy little cheese. Yes. So uh, the, the name is Jerry Jones, and the profession is painting. Uh, all right. And that is it. That is, that's the three items, and that's the end. Uh, it's been our pleasure. Do you forgive me, Thank you so much. I don't know. 
some players. Which you may like. The next award is for overall use of music. As I'm sure you can tell, sound can play an extremely important part in these films. Yes, it can. And it does take a, some skill <laughs> to make it look and sound good. Yes. Very bad sound can turn a movie <laughs> into, uh, into, can turn a good movie into a bad movie. So we always tell people, make sure you've got a good sound guy. And good music, too, because, you know, it's Austin, so... <laughs> And the nominees for Best Overall Use of Music are... Best Overall Use of Music Casting Call by Badio Films The Broken by Three Generations Captiva Entertainment Group The Ritual of Foss by Team El Guapo And the award goes to... The Ritual of Foss by Team El Guapo. <laughs> well done. <laughs> now, because we're in Austin, well, not just because we're in Austin, live music capital of somewhere. <laughs> We like to celebrate and honor original music that is used in our films. So the nominees for Best Original Score are... Best Original Score. Crick by Justin R. Durbin. From Crick by Edgen Films. Equanimity Theme by Mauricio Rex Maya. From Equanimity by Red Twit Entertainment. Original Music by Zachariah Sanchez. From The Flesh by Entropy Workshop. And our lovely own original score <laughs> from someone's cell phone. <laughs> Crick by Justin R. Durbin. <laughs> Team Edgen Films. I believe we should also say happy birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> Facebook tattled on you. <laughs> and some people don't just write original scores, they write original songs. Mm -hmm. So the nominees for, nominees for best original song are... Best original song. Constellations by Jason Trevino from Devil's Hollow by CM9 Films. Monsters Retreat by Jeff Walsh and the Backyard Boys from Monsters Retreat by the Backyard Boys. Darkness is Rising and Credits by Stephen Moore featuring Catherine Dunworth from The Ritual of Boss by Team El Guapo. And the award goes to... Constellation by Jason Trevino. Thank you. Please, all y'all, keep writing original music. We love it. Um, so next, sound design. Yeah. It's not just music that can make a film, but the sound that envelops it. And the nominees go to? 
or are Best Sound Design, Crit by Edgen Films, Devil's Hollow by CM9 Films, The Broken by Three Generations, Captiva Entertainment Group. And the award goes to <laughs> The Broken by Team Three Generations, Captiva Entertainment Group. <laughs> The next award is graphics and titling. And we love it when y'all have fun with the way your titles are presented, the credits are done, anything like that. But I should be more profound, but. <laughs> you just have to be careful that you don't have part of your movie over the credits because that marks against your time. But you know, if you get crazy with the credits, that's, that's something else Bloopers don't count as part of your story. That's right. So the nominees for Best Graphics and Titling are... Best Graphics and Title, Casting Call by Badio Films, Devil's Hollow by CM9 Films, The Broken by Three Generations, Captiva Entertainment Group. And the award goes to... Devil's Hollow, CM9 Films. <laughs> well done. And now I think it's time to review a little bit more of our top 10 filmmaking prowess. I hope. Working on a creation that would change my life forever. Turn me from a scientist into a real man. And I gotta say, I, I was a little depressed. And we turned that all around, son. And Every day it's a gift with you. You changed my life that day, bud. Ah! <laughs> oh, thank you, William. I thought he would never shut up. I said a scary story, you moron. Ah. Mind if I join you, Jerry? Why, so you can humiliate me some more? No, Jerry, I would, that would be too easy. <laughs> it's about Jessica, isn't it? I know how you feel about her. Let me give you a tip. If you want to win the girl, Jerry, all you have to do is be yourself. How about this for being myself? Oh, Jerry! Oh, you dirty boy! Ooh! <laughs> and the 48 is a, not just in Austin, it is a global phenomenon. And lovely, HQ gives us one of a music video to show every year. And we brought it here for you to y'all too. I hope. to do. 
ankle that? It's all gone. Uh, uh, I had enough. I'm gonna go to bed. Don't feel worse. Uh, Come on. We're here for you, doctors. Uh, I, I'm gonna stick on my headset and listen to some music and sit by the fire. You do that. I am. So I'll do that now. I'm gonna go pee. I, I gotta pee. I'm gonna let me get my keys. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Steve's got the keys. I told you it would be a night you'd never forget. And as you just saw, special effects can make or break a film. So the, the nominees for best special effects are... Best special effects. Hunted by M.K. Marco Productions. The Flesh by Entropy Workshop. The Ritual of Foss by Team El Guapo. And the winner is... The award goes to... <laughs> the Flesh by Team Entropy Workshop. <laughs> Tell me again how many people were on your team? One. <laughs> oh, non sponsorship canned foods. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> Next one. That one. That one. I swear somebody replaced my phone with an etch sketch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, of course, set design is important. You can turn a Gosh, you can turn a cubicle into a whole new world. You can turn an apartment into a nightmare. You can turn one house into three different places around the world. That's right. So the nominees for best set design are... Best set design. Devil's Hollow by CM9 Films. The Flesh by Entropy Workshops. The Ritual of Foss by Team El Guapo. And, oh, we're back, great. <laughs> the, the award goes to. Devil's Hollow, Team CM9 Films. Thank you very much. <laughs> now this next award, I promise it's on there, <laughs> goes out to the people who make everything look good when it's being shot. They can even make bad films look good. <laughs> Not that we have any here. None at all. And the nominees are... For Best Cinematography. Best Cinematography. Crick by Edge and Films. Hitman Werewolf by Define. The Broken by Three Generations. The 
Sativa Entertainment Group. And the award for best cinematography goes to Crick by Team Edge and Films. A movie would not be a movie without writing. Unless I guess it's a documentary, but even then, you gotta have to write an outline, right? Yeah, so. Um, so the best, <laughs> the nominees for best writing are. Best writing, Devil's Hollow by CM9 Films. Hitman Werewolf by Define. Monsters Retreat by Backyard Boys. And the award for best writing goes to. You know, you're getting enough practice with that. You'd think. I wonder who fastens these. <laughs> no, you did not. The award goes to Hitman Werewolf. You know what? I think you should, because you know what, what it's like to have a editing disaster. <laughs> <laughs> the story yep. of how Kara met Ollie. <laughs> the story of how Kara met Ollie was there was a kind of an avalanche where my team abandoned me during the weekend, and I ended up one hour from deadline finding out that my editor had not done their job. I had had no sleep for 48 hours. <laughs> Like literally no sleep, not not pretend no sleep, no, literally no sleep. Knowing her, yes, she would have gone with no sleep for 48 hours. I had nobody but me. It was a compliment. And I had a bit of a meltdown, like you do. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you learn who you can trust and who you can't trust to show up and do their job and do what they're told. That's one of the great things about the 48 is it's a fabulous trial run. <laughs> That's not the worst editing story I have, however. There was that weekend my computer kept crashing. Yeah, but that was another story entirely. Very true. So, and then the next time she said, do you need any volunteers? And I said, yes. <laughs> and she showed up and I never let her leave. <laughs> oh gosh, I shouldn't tell them that. Then nobody will volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> They'll sleep, it'll be fine. Okay, so the nominees for best editing are Best Editing, Casting Call by Badio Films, Devil's Hollow by CM9 Films, The Flesh by Entropy Workshop. And the award for Best Editing goes to The Flesh by Team Entropy Workshop. <laughs> Stop motion animation really is all about the editing. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, editors are sort of the unsung heroes because they're the ones who are on the time crunch because they get all the stuff on Sunday when you have to turn it in. <laughs> At least in my opinion. Who am I? Best editor ever? You edit all of this stuff. Don't say that, it might not be good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she does a better job than I could. That's because I haven't learned how to edit yet. Yes. <laughs> so we're keeping her. We're definitely <laughs> keeping her. I'll find something else for her to do if I have to. And no, no, I don't get a choice about that. <laughs> there is always gonna be one person telling everybody else what to do. And honestly, that's a very, uh, that's a big job and it's a very important one. It's usually my daughter. 
<laughs> the nominees for Best Directing are... Best Directing, Equanimity by Red Twit Entertainment, The Broken by Three Generations, Captivia Entertainment Group, The Flesh by Entropy Workshop. I was going to say something. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. The other night, my daughter sent me a text that said, you need to go to bed. You have work to do tomorrow. <laughs> so best director goes to Lila Harding. Uh, no, seriously. The award goes to... She also takes great direction, by the way. Equanimity, Red Twit Entertainment. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> and now for some more inspiration from uh, some of our top 10 films. She's a monster. seen the magic, you've seen the people, and uh, you've seen the dog himself. Let's see, uh, just Tyrone, uh, after the show, what are your after the show thoughts, man? You were just fine. <laughs> yeah. Adrenaline. As a director, what were your high and lows? For My high and lows. <laughs> <laughs> My high is episode. probably the dog coming in, you know, yeah. the, the nice ending. Yeah, yeah. My low is probably me messing up with the green screen, but <laughs> that happens. It's live television. Take it easy, Mr. Director. Thank you for everything. And, uh, Please. Bye. I'm going. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he's going. Oh, no. He's going. Oh, no. He's going. <laughs> You know, I was worried these contractions have been awful. Well, let me give you a tip. Mm. Tea cures everything. Leave that. Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, almost everything. Drink up. Mm. I'm lucky to call you a friend, here. I was afraid I was gonna have to do this alone. Maybe you should take a seat. Oh. It's okay. The baby alone. The baby 
he's coming. He's going to be a good, healthy boy. Thank you, Red Twit Entertainment. Next up, we have our producer awards. Now, these awards are chosen by the two of us. Because we get you know, sick and tired of us not being able to judge your films. <laughs> We're very judgy people. <laughs> and there are some teams uh, that we would like to um, honor and recognize. Honor and recognize, that's right. So, shall we go with the... Should we go ahead and get into it, or do we want to explain what they are? We'll go as we go. Okay. Okay. Our first award is for the 48 Beyond Borders, which is to honor a team that has uh, at least 50% cast crew or a story focusing on um, somebody from a marginalized community, such as people of color, LGBTQ+, uh, immigrants, anyone from that. And that award goes to... Team Cryptic Light. Thank you very much. Come on, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> the next award is for Women in Film. This is focusing on a team that had either a wonderful story oriented on women or a cast and crew made of at least 50% women. Mm -hmm. And that award goes to Team No Guts, No Glory. <laughs> no glory. glory. There are some amazing women, y'all. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did you do Jam, jam. I forgot your jam. I forgot your jam. Don't trip me. <laughs> <laughs> the next is our Emerging Voice Award, and that goes to a, a team in a film that has really. Continue. <laughs> we think has really shown improvement and passion and may have been overlooked a little by the judges. And the award goes to. Team Entropy Workshop. <laughs> Thank you for continuing to play with us. Yes. It's always yeah. fun. <laughs> this, oh, oh, jam, yeah. jam. There you go. This guy, this is his third team. Am I right, Zach? Third, third team. And this is his first time in the top 10. And we have watched as his filmmaking talent has improved, improved and his skill has improved. And we're really proud of you, Zach. Generation Next, and this is for a team that really brings kids into the filmmaking process and sponsoring our next generation of filmmakers. Absolutely, and the award goes to Team Finale. <laughs> now, real quick, how old are you? Uh, 15. Woo. We hear great things are coming. And Phoenix was the team lead, so she was the woman in control, 15 years old. Way to go, girl. And we know we've honored the elements, their use. But however, there was one team that really did a good job using all of them. 
And the award goes to Crick by Team Edge and Films. jam for the top 10 and that way we don't give anything away on you know the next really big award <laughs> yeah. this next award holds a very special place in our hearts um, especially as we've chosen to change the name this year um, so for the last couple of years we've given out an award called the spirit of the 48 award and that encompasses someone who has really shown, um, re uh, someone who has really encompassed the spirit of what the 48 Hour Film Project is about, which is encouraging creativity and challenging yourself, trying to reach new heights, um, just going the distance, going and the extra mile. Being a part of this great community that we have. Absolutely. So um, this past year, I'm gonna get choked up. This past year, we lost one of our filmmaking family. Um, a year ago, our best actor was Jordan D. Heitkamp. And uh, <laughs> and Jordan passed away a few months ago. Um, I, I didn't get a chance to know Jordan very well, but it, it didn't take much to see that he was a creative powerhouse. He was just so full of joy and the stories that I heard in the wake of his passing showed that he truly embodied the spirit of the 48. But rather than giving him the award posthumously, we asked his mother's permission if we could rename the award the Jordan D. Heitkamp Award. <laughs> and to, on to honor Jordan, we'd like to show you a brief snippet of his glorious moments from his memorial. decision.
joining us this afternoon to give uh, the uh, award is Jordan's mother, Melanie. And the winner, the first ever winner of the Jordan D. Heitkamp Award. You know what? That's okay. It was just the name on the paper. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the winner of the Jordan D. Heitkamp Award, which is the most prestigious award moving <laughs> forward, <laughs> yes, um, is Ronetta L. Davis. Yes. <laughs> Come on up here, Renetta. You can open it if you want. Can I? Yeah. Yes, please. So we heard from Renetta's team lead that she insisted on being on set and doing makeup just days after major surgery. And once we heard that, we we're like, okay, yeah, she's she's totally getting this award because that takes a lot out of a person. Huh? She's <laughs> just as crazy as the rest of us. <laughs> Can you show the camera? We get another <laughs> hand for Melanie, please. <laughs> I'm getting verklempt. Talk amongst yourselves. <sighs> you know, tonight, right now is a great time for another top ten film clip. I think that's a fabulous idea. You're sick, you know that? Hey. <laughs> There's something else? Ah, yes, okay. And now a very special thanks for our judges. Yes, don't blame us. <laughs> Mark Connolly Wilson is an actor filmmaker, editor, and award-winning magician, musician, and music composer. Since 1997, Mark has been teaching at Austin Community College in the departments of radio, television, film, and music business, and performance. Mark operates his own publishing production company, Magic Room Studios, in Georgetown, Texas, and helps out Santa Claus during the Christmas season. Ho, ho, ho. Nick W. Nicholson, an accomplished actor, Nick Nicholson is the featured film critic for CNN Houston and HCC Television. He is a member of the American Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, the Broadcast Film Critics Association, as well as a charter member of the Broadcast Television Journalists Association and WIFT Houston. Mr. Nicholson has taught hundreds of master classes on the subjects of film and film criticism over the past 20 years. Natasha Lukovich, 
Natasha is an experienced and awarded executive producer specializing in international production, strategy, partnerships, and localization. In her career, she was responsible for creating teams to enable creatives all over the world to come together and disrupt the status quo. She has produced over 100 commercials, as well as short films, documentaries, series, and long format in over 20 countries. And one more film clip? Oh, one more film clip. Just in those hairs. Do you have any pre-existing conditions? <laughs> uh, I'm male. I think you mean medically, though. Um, I have sleep apnea. <laughs> uh, are you on any current medications? <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> so, do you want to hear my Christopher or not? Nothing goes down unless I'm involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no nothing. Nickel bag, good soul in the park. I want in. You guys, you guys don't get that while the rest of us stop in the streets. You only say I love you, I love you. Chris? Yes. I get to go first. Wow! <laughs> I get to go first. Nothing. But me, right? David, how many hours did it take you to wrap that one? <laughs> Eight hours using some incredible improv actors. So well, way to go, David. <laughs> All right, so now we're on to the choices that you guys made. Uh, we had a poster contest. Oh, yeah, go to bring it up. I have one of my own. It's fine. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a microphone. I'll just run with it. <laughs> so yes, we did have a poster contest, and thank you all for your submissions. Yes, and for your participation in voting. And so now we have our best poster winner, which is not really a surprise, but we did get it nicely um, uh, framed. That's the word. We got it nicely framed. David, are you here? David Gutierrez, come on thank up. Thank you. I swear, it looked like silver on the roll, and then it turned out to be clear. So At least it's shiny. It's shiny. <laughs> Go ahead and open it. <laughs> you can open it if you like. You need some help? I'm really good at this. Yeah. <laughs> She's had enough practice ripping open envelopes. This shouldn't be a problem. I've got, uh, that's true, I've got two kids, so. Rip it, rip it good. Da -na 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 -na. Oh wow, this is better than your number. Well done, David. <laughs> and obviously it did the job because we broke a record this year, so well done. Thank you very much. Hi kids, we're back. Um, just want to let you know that when the show first started, uh, we were st uh, had some testicle difficulties, <laughs> but luckily Brian was here to fix it. So we're going to be running a little late. Austin Public will not carry it uh, past the two hours, but you can live stream it through my website. And we're also going to be on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. 
it's so it's going to be two parts. So please, um, it so you don't want to miss the last part of the show. So please uh, get on those um, streaming devices. Okay, I'm out of here. I have a question for you. Yes. Will it be available later for people to watch? Yes, on all those devices it will be available. All right. Thank you very much, G. So the best poster winner is not the only thing y'all voted on. Nope. Uh, y'all voted on audience choice winners. For each screening. For each screening. Because we had two this year. <laughs> Which is why we're here, because we had two screenings this year. I'm just really excited about that. We grew. <laughs> Thank you for growing with us. Yes. The winner for Group A is going to be revealed very shortly. Winner is Crick by Team Edge and Films. As some of you may have seen at our reception, we did pick up a donation to provide a prize for our audience award winners. So each of our audience award winners just walked away with $20. <laughs> it's a start. <laughs> Get a couple of Whataburgers for that. Yeah. That's a win. <laughs> I'm not going to mention that. And the winner for Group B. This is in the thing, don't you? I mean, you've been doing it all day. Why stop at this screen? The award goes to Monsters Retreat. <laughs> We love these awards because it's not the judges, it's not us, it is the audience. <laughs> That's you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and this is not the first time that Backyard Boys has walked away with an audience award, so these guys make some uh, very popular films. Good job, guys. Okay, okay, no, it's, it's, it's not time yet. It's almost time. Almost time. So, uh, of course, the best film will go on to Filmapalooza in Rotterdam. And here with a word from our Rotterdam city producers are Hans and Jasper, and oh my God, they are so adorable. Hi, Austin filmmakers. My name is Hans. And I'm Jasper. And we are really excited to find out who will be the Austin winner of the 48-hour film project in 2019, because... The winner goes towards the world final, the Filmapalooza, in 2020, which will be held right here in Rotterdam. So, if you are interested in seeing wooden shoes, tulips, or... Windmills. Windmills, then you will definitely have to come to the Netherlands. Tot volgend jaar. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs> you should see those guys in their matching purple tuxedos. So adorable. W that that's not hyperbole. They actually do that every year. Well, since last year, since last, <laughs> since 2018, since Paris. So yeah. true. And now with a lovely little reminder about next year from us. Yeah. We have it recorded. Because it's almost time. 2020. Hi. There we go. If you like what you've seen and you want to join in the fun, visit our website at www.48hourfilm.com for more information on next year's projects around the world. You can follow the Austin Project on Facebook at 48 Hour Film Austin. All one word. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. In addition, we are thrilled to announce the return of the 48-hour film projects new year special registration from january 1st to the 15th you can register a team anywhere in the u.s for the lowest price of the year risk-free happy holidays and we'll see you <laughs> in 2020 
Okay, it's that time, isn't it? It is that time. It is that time. Okay, so the nominees for Best Picture, for Best Film. 2019, 48 Hour Special Genre Project. Sci Fi and Horror. Is. Best Film The Broken by Three Generations, Captiva Entertainment Group. Crick by Edgen Films. Devil's Hollow by CM9 Films. Hitman Werewolf by Define. Equanimity by Red Twit Entertainment. Can we get a big hand for all five of those nominees? The second runner-up. The award goes to... Hitman Werewolf. <laughs> oh, and Big Jam. Big jam. We aren't allowed to break things. We don't own them. I know. I'm just lying. And now for the first runner up. <laughs> I know the suspense is killing all right. The award goes to Crick by Team Edge and Films. <laughs> and now you get the big job. <laughs> so if you haven't gotten your jam, and you're a team lead, whether it's top 10 or I think we gave all, all the producer award jams, didn't we? Oh, yeah, you get a, I think you get a jam. We'll I think I brought we'll you a jam. That out if we'll you didn't get your jam, come up here. If you got a jam, we'll give you your jam after everything is done. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'll be a whole jam session. This, this is an experiment. We'll do better next year. Live television. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the best film winner. Y'all ready for this? Could we please get a drum roll? The best film of 2019, 48 Hour Special Genre Project, is The Broken by Team Three Generations, Captiva Entertainment Group. Marla has been saying for a couple of weeks, how's my blanket coming? And I'm like, oh. it's not necessarily your blanket, Marla. <laughs> it's totally your blanket, Marla. <laughs> I'm sitting there cold. Big jam. <laughs> oh, 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 duh. I totally forgot. I didn't do anything. That's the problem. You did yours as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can find some hands for this. So <laughs> for the last several years, I have taken it upon myself to design a special framed best film award for our winner. <laughs> I hope you like it.
so much. Okay, what do we have next? We it's have not over yet. Big Daddy G is gonna is gonna wrap up, right? Yep. On you. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to interview our best film winner. That's right. Do it on your own. <laughs> Big Daddy G is gonna do his thing. Thank y'all so much for being here and being part of our first ever live stream. Hi Austin Filmmakers, my name is Hans and I'm Jasper and we are really excited to find out who will be the Austin winner of the 48 hour film project in 2019 because the winner goes towards the world final, the Film Appalooza in 2020, which will be held right here in Rotterdam. So if you are interested in seeing wooden shoes, tulips or windmills, windmills, then you will definitely have to come to the Netherlands. Tot volgend jaar. See you next year. Hi! If you like what you've seen and you want to join in the fun, visit our website at www.48hourfilm.com for more information on next year's projects around the world. You can follow the Austin Project on Facebook at 48 Hour Film Austin. All one word. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. In addition, we are thrilled to announce the return of the 48-hour film project's New Year special registration. From January 1st to the 15th, you can register a team anywhere in the U.S. for the lowest price of the year, risk-free. Happy holidays! <laughs> and we'll see you in 2020. Style. That's me and you. Oh, are we on? We're on? Okay, hey kids. All right, so we are going to be um, interviewing this crazy wild woman who I've known for a few years, at least a couple of years. Um, I think I met you at the um, Austin Network Austin Mixer. Network, yeah, mm -hmm. Network Mixer, uh, which is run by Gary and Don Neese. I say it right. Judith. And, and Judith. Judith. And Little Dean. Judith. And Dean. Yes. So, um, whatever possessed you to do um, a 48 hour film project? This is actually our third one. Mm -hmm. But this one my son wanted to do because he's coming up in March in a horror film. And he asked me if I would do it. And I said, okay, I'll do it. My son is 11 years old. Wow. I said, okay, I will do it. Yeah. But I wanted to feature on the children and let them be the stars. And I put together a team. Um, we're called the Three Generations because it's my father, myself, and my children, and my husband, but yeah. <laughs> um, nice. um, so I had come up with a name, so I picked Three Generations because of that. And I wanted, I, you know, we never put together our, our what we're doing until we get the genre because there's rules involved and we never know what to expect. So I became Facebook queen junkie of horror stuff. Yeah. And I had a doll and my nine year old said to me, mommy, that thing is not coming in my house. Mm. <laughs> and I said, okay, it lives in a box in my husband's closet. But that's when we put our team together, 
I had a really great team. Um, our director was Alex Ponce, Michael Garcia Jr., Raymond Romos was on the camera, and when I w was at my son's event doing the horror film, this guy came up to me and said, your son looks amazing. I've always wanted to be involved. Mm -hmm. His name is Greg Watson. He was my boom man. And it was just really amazing. And my mechanic, it's really funny. My mechanic said to me, you guys were always going to California to film. I said, no, I'm not. He goes, but you guys were always doing auditions and films and commercials. And I said, we do that here in Texas. Yep. And he goes, you do? My kids want to get in it. So one of the questions that was asked last week at the Q&A was what was the most challenging of your team? And I said, taking four brand new actors of children and not knowing where they were going to go with this. <laughs> and they all, I mean, yeah. they all did a really good job, so. Yeah. They sure did. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we're going to have you on the show uh, pretty soon, as soon as we can schedule you. Um, and then we'll show, are we going to do that, Holly? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, and we'll show the film. Um, so the, you kids that haven't had a chance to watch the film, um, we're going to show it live worldwide. So um, that's going to be awesome. Uh, it'll probably be sometime in March unless somebody cancels. Um, and if they cancel, you have to be dead if you cancel. So, <laughs> all right. But um, tell me, when you, when you first started doing the 48-hour film uh, for this particular project, mm -hmm. um, how much rest do you recommend people get? Oh, I was completely stressed out. I probably had less than 48 hours. I was like, what if they don't show up? Oh. And Alex and I had been Facebook friends mm -hmm. and never really met before coming to my house. Mm -hmm. um, we filmed this in Marion, Texas, which is between New Braunfels and Seguin. Yeah. And... Which there's going to be a party at. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep, yeah, we'll keep you updated. Right. Um, it was really nerve-wracking because you want everything to be totally smooth and you you know you don't know who's going to have what role yeah. but uh, everybody fit in like a perfect glove it was we're we're not changing our crew and as Ronetta Davis got the award she had just had major surgery and yep. she's like I don't care if I'm on my deathbed I told you I would do this right. and the and show must go on mm -hmm. that's right that's right well, that's, um, I mean, that's awesome. Um, so what kind of hints do you have uh, to help people that are thinking about doing a 48-hour project or people that are already doing 48-hour projects? What kind of tips can you give them that could help uh, prepare for it? Because you don't know. You never know the genre. Yeah, you never know the you genre. Never. You don't know the words that you have to say because there's like sometimes one or two words or something that you have to fit into it. So what, what kind of advice could you give them that could help? Pay attention use the text messages to the 48 people, show up, be open-minded, and don't pre-write because it never works. <laughs> and always make sure you plan a party for afterwards <laughs> and make sure you invite me. So, <laughs> now you said that your 11-year-old son wanted to um, to do this particular project. Yes. And ta -da! So, kids, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter how old you are. Uh, the 48-hour film project, it's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And you meet people that are really cool. And you meet people that, um, you know, that are into stuff that you're into, you know, and that's film. Um, I have a really, really cool new friend um, named Josh from Laredo. And, dude, he just loves films. And so... Whenever I want to go see a film, I call. I have a group of people that I call, and usually everybody wants to go. You know, we usually, you know, and we hop in the limo and we go and we watch a movie, and um, and it's awesome. So, 11 years old, this kid wanted to do this project. So, if you're 11 in your brain and you're 30, but you're really 11 in your brain, <laughs> you still can do it. You know, um, was. What was the, the best uh, thing that you're going to remember from this, other than winning the award, but uh, the best, uh, something that happened on the set that you think was really, really cool? Right before I beat my son, <laughs> um, 
<laughs> I announced it would have been easier for me to beat my daughter <laughs> because she's adopted and I signed for her and the 11 year old I birthed. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, Jordan telling me, Mom, this is going to be fun. We've never done something like this together. And it, it's an impact. I mean, he sent. I Alex a picture of him and me before we go in to beat I, where I beat him <laughs> and he goes this was right before my mom beat me yeah. <laughs> and you know but most importantly the message we have behind the broken yeah. we're a normal family and the children were being beaten behind the scenes yeah. and just the message we can put out through our 48 yeah. you know people want us to move on and, and make it bigger and we'd like to. Awesome, awesome. Just a quick disclaimer, uh, the beating of the children, yes, it did happen, but it was for art, okay? <laughs> so. And I hit my hand, not my son. Yeah, yeah, she didn't really beat them, you know, but there's always tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, well, do, I, um, I think it's awesome that you're getting involved. Is this something that you've always wanted to do, uh, be in films? No, not Never, at all. Really? Not at all. Did not at all. They needed all? a mother. Yeah. And I was there at my house. Imagine that. And, and, do you, and do you think that the bug's gotten you now? That's it? You think you want to do, you're going to do another one, I'm sure. We are. Yeah. We are. I will do whatever I need to do to be a part of it. Awesome. Because it's a, fa it's a family. We're, we are family. Awesome. So, um, kids, get your crew together, man. Um, you can start doing short films. There's so many festivals that will accept your short film for free. You don't have to pay. And if you win, they pay for your hotel. Um, <laughs> and uh, which I've gone through. A, I've gone through a lot of those, um, and we've won. So, um, so please, you know, get off your arse and uh, get a crew together. And when is the the next 48? Uh, it'll be next spring. In next May. Spring. May or June of next uh, we'll next year. Some dates. Together soon. All right. So um, registration January first. Uh, registration okay. January first. January first through fifteenth, and then okay. it closes until two months before the next uh, kickoff. Okay. Usually late March. Yeah. Okay. So there you have it, um, kids. Thank you so much for joining us today. We had a great time here. It was a two-hour live special. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we sure did, and we'd love to do it again next year if um, if Ali and Kara, not Kira, Kara doesn't, um, you know, if they're not in jail, we'll do it again. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next year or next Tuesday on our show. All right, bye-bye.